Hello and welcome. We are going now to proceed to the installation of the first version of uh, Windows 2016. So as usually we are going to define the keyboards, the language. Install now. Windows Server 2016 is now presented in three different versions. One is the standard version with the graphical user interface, what we are used to know. The first one, which is Windows Server 2016, is just uh, with a command prompt. So this was at the equivalent to the core version we knew. And the last one, which is not presented here, is the nano version, which is without any graphical interface. Okay, the system is now up. We need to insert the password. Settings are now getting finalized. So now the system is up and uh, running, so we'll go and see how it goes. And here we have the first view on Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview 4. So the server manager is now starting. It looks familiar. Let's look at the local server. You see that remote management is enabled, remote desktop isn't, so I will enable remote desktop. So we allow remote desktops, it will open the firewall, this is as it was in 2012. Now it is enabled, we see it here. As you can see, we have here an interface which is similar to the Windows 10 one, and the Explorer is Edge. So let's start Edge. Here we have a surprise that tells us that we can't open. So how can we solve this? So in order to do that, it's a security issue with the local admin account. So we are going here to launch the security policy management. We have to go to the local policy, security options, and here we go down to the user, account control and admin, it's that one. Let's open it, and you see that now action has been taken. So we will just enable it here. Let's try now. Let's sign out. Let's sign in again. And now, as you see, Edge is starting. Now that we've solved that issue about the local security account, you will see that it will also enable us to do other things. Like, if now we want to add some user on that uh, system, I have to go here to the settings, accounts, Add the users, add someone else to this PC. And you see here what is quite common now that with Microsoft, they want to have a link to another account existing either on one of those systems. So if you don't want that and you really want a local user, you have to go to I don't have this person sign in information. 
here you see that they are coming back and asking you to create one account on one of those cloud environment. If you still don't want this, it's here down that you go to the common account that we were doing till now. And here you can really enter for the first time a username. So you say the name of the user and then password. And now the user is created. So let's check. And you see here that now we are able to have another user profile. So we select it. Now our user has logged in and can also access to the several aspects of window 2016. So here we have the environment, which is similar to window 10. We have here the possibility to work with virtual desktops. And here we add one of those desktops. You see now I have two desktops on which I can work. Here I go to the second one in which I will start Internet Explorer, meaning Edge. So Edge has started. Here I go back to the first one. And here I start File Explorer. So we can see that one of the desktop has the File Explorer, the other one has uh, Edge. So with this, we see that uh, we are now really like a Windows 10 environment. You might now be willing to change the display settings. So we go to settings, you have to go to system and you see the first one is the display. So you go down to advanced display settings and now here you can change the resolution. You can say, for example, 1280 times 1024. Then you apply, keep the changes and that's it. Now we want to make sure that this version is updated. So we go here and as you can see here, we launch the server manager. We check the local server and you see here that it's in this part that we see the window updates. So currently we are going to see the settings, window updates. To see how to proceed, you just have to go here, check for updates and the system will be checking for updates and install them if required. You might also be willing to change the name of the computer. So it's in the server manager, here computer name, you click on the computer name and it's going to ask you for the admin password if you aren't an admin currently. Computer description, I call that computer 83. And you see here, I change the computer's name. 83 also. I leave it for the moment in a work group. If you would like to enter it into a domain, it's here that you would have to proceed. Now it's telling me that I have to restart that those changes become effective. To restart the computer, go on power here and restore it. By going to the local server, we see now that the name of the computer has been changed. You might also want to change the IP address of your server. For this, you go to the server manager, local server, and here down, you see that the IP address was assigned by DHCP. So we click on this, go to properties on the adapter, and this is where we conventionally were used to change IP addresses. refresh and we see now that our IP address has been assigned. If you don't like the server manager and you don't want it to start automatically when you boot the server, you go to manage and you see here that you have server manager properties 
and here by simply clicking here you you can avoid that it starts automatically at login that was it uh, with that now you've seen an overview of the 2016 server how to install it and how to change several of the configuration elements so i wish you a good day if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to vision 6d channel have a good day bye Thank <laughs> you.